Hello guys and gals, this is Mickey Way and I'm back from Gamescom, back on the Zipcrowd server and yeah, so today we are going to uh, finish up what we've begun in the last two episodes, finish our Rubik's Cube, yeah, on the last episode we already covered these face rotations over here, if you want to see how that works, you can just go and watch my last episode, which would be number 16. I would say, and if you were uh, interested in this build, that would be the 15th episode. And yeah, today we are going to finish the these ring rotations, for which we pretty much only need to power all these pistons here once. And we do have this glass block here, uh, just resting in one of the corners, and it will pretty much cycle through. So if we just give a one tick pulse to everything, it will just keep pushing and pushing. Oh, the pistons are a little bit loud. Hope you could hear it properly. Anyway, let's just, yeah, make them a little less noisy. And yeah, so that's the whole idea. We just need to apply power to all of these uh, for a short while. And then, uh, yeah, the rotation will pretty much just complete itself by, yeah, so yeah, what happens? We have the, the block over here. Like these are all solid blocks except for that glass block. And when we have a solid block above here, the redstone uh, uh, torch will power the block, the block will power the redstone dust, the dust will power this block, and then the piston will extend. Uh, and yeah, the piston head itself exactly is of course not exactly transparent, which will then remove this uh, power and the piston will retract again. Yeah, simple as that. Very nice little setup. And yeah, let's come up here and yeah, uh, let's all again like, just take a little look at it. So, yeah, we have blue wool, so we will do the blue side now on camera. And, yeah, if you look at it, we covered this part for the rotation. But we also need to rotate this ring over here when we rotate, uh, rotate this face. So, down there is a piston, up there, up there, and up there. And these are the ones we need to power. So, let's go down and get started. Yeah, so uh, in order to get started, we get up here, and yeah, we already uh, have this half slab over here, just coming out on block, and yeah, we will pretty much just extend this here a little bit, go up a block, come over here, and then yeah, actually we go out two more blocks, and yeah, then we get ourselves some repeaters going, make a little pulse shortener over here. Yeah, and this is, uh, yeah, just random <laughs> redstone dust, nothing special. And also, yeah, the signal will go travel up here. And also we will have it go down over here and it will pretty much line up with this line over here. And yeah, let's quickly get up there. And then we pretty much make a little staircase, nothing fancy here. And yeah, let's remove the blocks which we do not need. And yeah, pretty much bring the redstone signal down. One, two, three, four, five, six. So and over there, over here, we take another repeater because we really do not want a one tick pulse over here. Because yeah, after all, we do have a glass block. We don't want that to be left behind, do we? Okay, so that was easy. Our first piston is uh, aligned and. Now what we do is we grab the signal from over here and we have to go up a couple blocks. Actually, we will not need this. Let's put the chicken there for now. And yeah, then we have a little bit of half step wiring. So that would be one, two, three, and then a fourth block. And then from here we do something like this, just going upwards. And yeah, we want it to reach up there. So I think what we have to do would be like so. And then we actually, well, like so, and then do it like this. So we have to, yeah, put dust on, on all of these, of course. And then we bring this signal here into a a block which is then aligned with this line over here 
And I think over here we have three more one tick repeaters in order to make this all work properly. So that would be piston number two. Also we do have this glass block currently up here. And yeah, so let's get dust on all of these. One over here, one over here. Okay, these are all wired up. Then yeah, back there we also have dust already. And yeah, so that's pretty much the wiring for, for this side. And yeah, now uh, we want to do the other side and for that we will uh, just make another pull shortener because it's kind of yeah problematic to get the signal just over there from there. So, well, it's not too problematic yet. But since we will have quite a few more redstone lines going through the area, uh, it will eventually become so. And yeah, actually, uh, I already have a repeater here. Yeah, must have forgotten that in my previous take. <laughs> I, I, I have tried that more than once already. So yeah, uh, up there we... Well, let's, let's quickly get up there. So over here comes our signal from the button and it goes over here. And in order to get to the other side, we just have a repeater grabbing the signal from over there. Okay. And yeah, now we can power redstone dust on this block from there. And yeah, let's do this. One redstone dust on there, one on here. So we have, have it down, two blocks. And then over here we get it onto this block. Uh huh. It's lagging a little bit apparently. But yeah, all good. I mean, whatever. I don't really mind. Okay, let's get the repeaters back in there. That were all the pistons for the sortation. And then I think we come four more blocks over or so. In the end, it should be lining up with this piston. So I guess it's five blocks after all. Yeah, that seems about right. Then we have four more dusts, another repeater, the signal going to a block. And here again, we split it. We have one line that will go up there and another line which will then just power this piston and in order to power this piston we actually place a block here and then there will be one next to that will there well okay so from here we definitely will come at least one block and yeah actually a second one Exactly, okay, this is how it will be looking like. And yeah, we place the dust on here, and since that connects with the dust up here, and we don't want that, block it off. Have a repeater facing into this block, which will then power the dust, and then there by this block, and then the piston, you get the idea. And yeah, in order to connect this, again, we don't want these lines to connect. Different colors should not connect here. And then we take the signal also to the other side and yeah here this will probably look a little bit awkward at first but uh, yeah you, you have to imagine over here we will one two three four yeah actually five blocks this will actually be the, the red circuit and we don't want these to interfere so we'll have to somehow also uh, it will be going down over here well that's just like so so we have to account for that and yeah so we come up one block and then i'm not entirely sure i think it goes one more one more block up here and from here it then well, let's get rid of these for now. So we can move around and then get one block over here. And then we finally move over there, like so. And yeah, since it, the signal will go up here, this, these lines will not connect. And then we can pretty much do half, half slip wiring to the top. So let's get counting. So we have signal strength. 15, 14, 13, 12, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 
and yeah, let's get up there. Well, I said up there. Well, I guess it works. So we were at four, three, two. Yeah, I guess it works. Three, two, and then we, well, let's actually take this out again. Place one here. All good, one. And then we have a little repeater. And from from here we pretty much grab the signal. Have it go over here. And hmm, interesting. Did I do it this way or did I put it there? I'm not entirely sure. Well, in case I, I I messed that up completely, I'll just yeah. I also will definitely need more repeaters than that. I have one here, one there. I think I need a third one somewhere in between. So let's just put it here for now. Yeah, I'll I'll check that back on the uh, creative world in case I messed up. It's actually not well. I don't know for me or for me it's not that easy just re remembering like all these where or why to make a cut. And yeah, that actually was my Facebook. Oh God, how embarrassing. Anyway, yeah, I think I'll build up the other three side things and then we will take a look at the wiring for the yellow top and the black bottom because these will be different from from this wiring over here. And yeah, uh, also we will take a look at what is just looking like when we have all the four sides uh, wired up that way and you will say, uh, see that uh, space actually is becoming a little bit yeah all pretty close together and stuff so yeah see you in a few when I'm done with this okay so the wiring is done on all four sides and yeah of course I did a little mistake here where I didn't know what to do yeah actually it went up like one block more or two blocks more and then just went to a repeater and then over here we have four repeaters and that's pretty much done on all the four sides yeah so wired it all up and now what's left to do is yeah as I said before wiring up the bottom and top like these rings the upper and the lower run and yeah uh, in order to have uh, positions for the buttons I had to uh, put them here in the corners that seemed most convenient and we We'll be starting with the yellow one, so that should be when we go down here. Whoop. Can I even get out there properly? Well, I guess I can go down one more. Okay. So up here we do have this yellow block. And yeah, now comes the fun part where we try to uh, get the signal uh, upstairs without interfering with any other redstone lines. Yay! So let's do this, and yeah, so here we do need a redstone dust, and from there, so what do we do? Um, well, if I put a repeater here, I would have to put one on the other block as well, or I could move this one block up. Let's try that. Okay, so we uh, put this one block up. And then we can come over here and let's get ourselves repeaters. Hmm, okay. Time for some extra dirt. So we get a signal over here and yeah, that's actually also not quite optimal. So yeah, to towards this direction is a no go. And well actually so I actually need to go to come somewhat over here, so I guess I'll I'll have to do double repeaters over here. And then we will try to get the signal upwards. So over here we can come come up one block and yeah so actually we can 
pretty much just make some kind of staircase going upwards. That should be fine. Well, that's actually that was actually not intended. Okay. Next one. Well, there's the dust on there. Can we go up here? I would say so. So let's come towards this direction. Okay, over here. Hmm. Well, okay. No, I'm running into a little bit of a problem here because we. Yeah, this is actually. Uh, I need to somehow re be able to reach this piston over here uh, with the black line. And yeah, that will uh, cause me quite some trouble. So, hmm. What do, what do I do here? Can I maybe. Let's forget this part. And then. Maybe try to go up over here. This might be fine. Hmm. Okay, one here, one here, one here. And then, yeah, let's get on, on the R's knowledge up there. Okay, yeah, so over here I will ne need some space for the black line, so from here we try and bring it up over here. Okay, and we definitely do not want this to interfere here at in any way, but, oh wait, this is actually a problem, we can not do that because yeah that will be powered by the repeater and this is also a problem which we can overcome by pu putting this one block up okay <laughs> so far so good now let's try and get over here Was there actually no there's no repeater so I'm safe to place dust over here. But yeah, uh this of course then has to be a half slap. Try a half slap. Oh almost there, aren't we? So oh no. Place one over there, and yeah, actually, black signal goes down there, so we are safe to just go up here. Yeah, that's this seems fine. Also, there is uh, already our signal, and we need to keep in mind that we uh, will need. Uh, to extend the signal strength at some point. So, do I have some torch? Which, well, that would actually make the signal one longer because it also powers this one. So, yeah, when whenever it stops, I actually need to make make it extend one block earlier. Okay. Fun redstone, isn't it? Okay, one, two, three, and yeah, I guess the next one would s would run out. No, that's actually okay. Cool. So I can use a repeater over here. And then, yeah, let's just bring it along the uh, the ledge here. Why not? Mm. 
rather have it go this way and then we pretty much just wire it all up one more and have a repeater here so we reach the full signal strength again yeah and of course the uh, top will now mess up because I connected the uh, redstone line which is not exactly a 12 tick pole so well, let's break that and then Yeah, there is uh, a a chance of fifty-ish percent that it actually, well, not 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 even close to fifty percent that it actually didn't mess up anything. So yeah, right now we do have all glass blocks. I guess we can fix it manually. Hmm. Okay. Let's go up. Best way up is via one of the corners and then just use this red zone from the face rotations. Oh. Let's just try this. <laughs> Maybe it works just fine that way. And now um, I'm actually destroying some of my redstone over here. So yeah, I'll I'll fix that later on, <laughs> off camera. And well, so this is just wired up right now. So what we do here is we make ourselves another of the pulse shorteners. It's the last one won't need any more than this one after this so yeah I think I wanted to go ar around the corner so I can go inwards already okay and then hmm, let's try to let's go one more block over here Like so maybe and yeah this just connects to the button just was <laughs> afraid that there was some connection at some point but yeah it's just a button all good nothing to worry about and then down there we do have the piston so I think I want this one block shorter and have a repeater over here like so and then I'll be able to uh, put this, put the signal below here and actually I want to just power that block and then yeah for that we just need the signal to go down there pretty much so let's do it like this Place the dust here, like so, and where did this connect to? Yeah, that's of course not desired. Let's block this off. Okay, that would be one way to do it. And then that is of course only butt powered, so what we will do here is try to get there in the first place. No, not like this. Actually, over there. And then we get ourselves a power rail. Places on top here. And that will update the piston in order to make it extend. Okay, let's just get back up there. Right, cool. So we have our signal here now. And we can. Let's go over there and yeah, there I will pretty much do the same thing. I'll just have the signal go down to the piston and yeah, I'll just continue that quickly and uh, wire that all up and see you back when I'm done so we can do the black side. 
Okay, so we got all the yellow redstone in place now. And yeah, so this is where it came up and then it pretty much just goes around in a circle and the one which is right next to it actually is the one with, which gets powered last so we just don't need to build another pulse shortener over there. So yeah, since here is the yellow side, uh, on the opposite side we should have the black side. So let's go and get down there. And Okay, here we go. Yeah, there's the black stuff. And yeah, up here we see our black block, which we get, can grab the power from. And yeah, I think it will just work with the double repeater again, just as on the other side. So yeah, let's get up here. Oh, come on. Got here. Place our two repeaters. Okay, number one. And yeah, some dirt. Always the same. Let's try this. Okay. Second repeater. Yeah, and then we bring the signal a little bit downwards. Just like so. And then we can... Hmm, how do we... Oh, I guess that works. So we put a block there. And the dust on top. And then we just can grab the signal through the block. Uh, with a repeater and yeah so get a repeater on here and made it easy as that okay and now pretty much just need to wire it down to the bottom and for that yeah we just put ourselves a little staircase and yeah here we go we'll just need a little bit more redstone on here so take some redstone, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, so that that works without any problems here. So yeah, let's get back here and uh, go tw towards the other side. Here we have a lot of space to go up. And then we yeah start by making ourselves yet another pulse shortener for the black circuit. And yeah, so ourselves our repeaters, nothing new here, always the uh, really very same. And yeah, get some dirt in here and piston yeah. Pistons. Why will would we want pistons here? We will see that in a second. Let's also stock up on the redstone. And yeah now we go and bring the signal upwards. So yeah, let's see up there is the, the first piston which we want to power and yeah this is like still really straightforward so we can just go up and make ourselves a little staircase leading up to the piston and here it's nicely offset by two blocks from the bl blue line so we don't run into any pr problems over there with cross powering and yeah let's just bridge over this one block over up so we don't cut the blue line and yeah then it's just some redstone dust and then yeah we just place a block on top and we actually do not want these lines to connect like the redstone dust because every time uh, yeah a solid block gets above the torch it would just trigger the whole circuit and would pretty much break the system so yeah we're just blocking that off here and yeah in this case we just have a repeater powering it just because we need a repeater here in the in this uh, area anyway in order to make the signal go far enough and now we come over here get right to the uh, edge of the cube like so but yeah when we just place redstone right, right here. This will just connect, so we'll have have to go and build a little bridge. We can't really cut off the signal. Uh, so yeah, just make a little bridge. And now, in order to the uh, to get to the next piston uh, to, that we want to activate, we just use a piston. Isn't that nice? Yeah, uh, I actually uh, just could it 
fit it in there nicely uh, that way because uh, I just wanted to have uh, one uh, tick between the activations or well, two ticks but yeah like with two ticks it did not work consistently so I wanted to lower the delay but yeah for one tick the the whole thing was too short so I figured why not uh, just use pistons to uh, have the timings for pistons to extend right yeah I'll, uh, if I ever make an improvement uh, of this cube I will most likely try to uh, incorporate more of these that should also uh, save on a lot of space. Yeah, we will see how that goes. Yeah, and then over here we just place a redstone block. And yeah, so we also need to push it back at some point, uh, which will be after one tick, so the signal doesn't ge get too long. <laughs> and yeah, this, yeah, this, no, it's just going straight. So there's no problem with cross powering, which would not be desired. Okay, so now we hmm. so we need the block on there anyway in order to get get to the piston, and then yeah, I guess we will need a half slab over here uh, because otherwise we cut off the red signal. Okay, and. Yeah, from there it's pretty straightforward, I think. I guess so. We come over here, place some dust. Nah. Okay. Yeah, I think it just goes like so. We come to the side of the block. Oh, come on. Oh yeah, we also need to block that off, and. What am I doing here? All right, just do it the lazy way. That works. Okay, then now block this off. Yeah, there we go. And yeah, then we have, have just have it go in there. And here we place ourselves the. Oh yeah, also need to block that off. And. Yeah, over here we now just need to place a repeater. So let's get a repeater. There we go. And yeah, so that's how it's looking. And yeah, I'll just continue with the other sides, which will be done exactly the same. And yeah, then I see you uh, back with some more progress. Okay, so all the wiring is done now. So yeah, here the top part you've already seen and for what I just did, yeah, it was pretty much all the same. Just having pistons, yeah, from over there that comes to one and goes over here to the next piston line. And yeah, that's actually the last one. So yeah, that's the part I uh, built up. And yeah, now it's time for the fancy test where we see whether what we did works. Uh, one adjustment I made on all sides is that this repeater here is on two ticks. I just noticed that when like passing by and thought, well, that that cannot be right because uh, there would only be a one tick difference between uh, that bottom part and uh, the one from the side, uh, the one pushing upwards with the glass block. So yeah, that that could cause failure in this. Well, it would cause failure in the system. So let's eat our last two uh, chicken from the Hermanos Ponyos Breaking Bad video. Uh, so. I'm Got the only regular chicken right now. And yeah, let's just give it a test. I think we will just go and rotate every single side for one time. And then we see how well this works. Let's start with blue. Yeah, so blue side seems to be working so far. And there we go. Blue side's fine. Let's do the green side. Green side seems to be working fine as well. Nice. Let's be a little bit courageous. Oh look, a Germany flag. Um, and just go and rotate red and orange at the same time. Of course this does not really prove that this thing is completely working yet because you would have to test it every, uh, like rotating every side four times, but 
yeah, that's just just for a little demonstration that all the sides are rotating correctly. I think it uh, just does the job just fine. And yeah, if I uh, happen to uh, run into any problems, uh, yeah, I'll let you know. I'm I'm not going to say this this thing is working when it clearly isn't. So yeah, top side works as well. And now let's just do the bottom. The ring rotation works just fine. And so seems to be the bottom. Yeah. So all the sides are working just fine. So uh, yeah, I think this is a nice uh, time to uh, end this episode. And yeah, maybe uh, in the next episode you might see my myself trying to solve this cube actually, which is yeah when you're standing on the inside uh, a little bit unusual and yeah hope hopefully i'll get used to it so i can actually use it and yeah also there's some other guys who could possibly uh solve a rubik's cube so yeah hopefully this uh, thing will not just stand around as a big redstone project uh, which is kind of awesome but no one ever uses it because it's not comfortable to do so so yeah that being said thank you guys for watching i hope you were excited to see it as, as i what uh, was when i was making this and see you next time.